main structure of the eye down. So we need to add now the darkest darks and the lightest lights. So we'll start off with the darkest darks, which is obviously the pupil, and we're gonna add that in just with a straight black 199. So once that goes in, the rest of this shadow up here suddenly looks quite a lot lighter. So I just look at my photo, see where is the darkest, and then gently I'm just adding a small amount of black in. Now there's quite a bit of pastel in there, so I can blend it into the rest of the pastel so that it doesn't become um, too stark. So that eye has now got a lot more dimension in it, but we definitely need to add some lighter areas. So I'm going in with the cool 230, which is a light gray. And the eye is just catching a nice little bit of light down here, which also helps to outline the eyeball. And then there's also a, a ring around the pupil. Now it's up to you how much detail you really want to go into, but I think it sets it off quite nicely. And you can see I've just stopped this highlight where the shadow begins so that it all makes, um, all makes sense. So to finish off the top of the eye here, I'm going to use the same light grey, so this is the cool grey to match the blue because obviously blue is a cool colour. Um, I'm just going to turn my painting around. Now the light is catching the top of his eyelid. So over some of these blues, I'm now adding the lightest, the lightest lights, which obviously will be tinted by the amount of blue pastel that's underneath. And there we have it.